hello guys i hope you all are fine so in today's lecture i'll discuss about the pre labor which is also known as impending labor and pre monetary stays so pre labor is usually occurs before the first stage of labor or before the onset of true labor pains so it occurs before the onset of true labor pains so in prime gravida that is the woman who is pregnant for the first time this stage occurs 2 to 3 weeks prior to the onset of true labor pains and in multi para or in multi paris women that is the woman who is pregnant for more than one time the pre labor occurs few days prior so next is the features of pre labor so under the features of pre labor there are basically three terms first is lightning and next one is cervical changes and false labor pains so first of all we are starting with the lightning that is the first feature of pre labor so here is the diagram of lightning so what happen actually in this sign this sign occurs in primary gravida few weeks prior and in multi para few days prior so actually what happens in the lightning that due to pulling by the lower pole of uterus the baby's head or the presenting part sinks into the true pelvis so i hope you are clear with the words true pelvis and false pelvis so here so below the pelvic brim there is a true pelvis and above the pelvic brim there is a false pelvis and as it as the presenting part sinks into the true pelvis the pressure on the diaphragm released like here this is a before picture when the baby is here and this is the this one is diaphragm so the fundal area is continuously exerting the pressure on the diaphragm which leads to the difficulty in breathing as diaphragm puts pressure on the heart as well as lungs but when the presenting part sinks like here after when the presenting part sinks into the true pelvis here the pressure pressure to the diaphragm is relieved so mother feels a sense of relief 
as a pressure on the heart and lungs relieved so this is known as lightening when the baby sinks into the true pelvis and the pressure on the diaphragm relieved and the mother has a sense of relief due to the release in pressure on the lungs and heart by the diaphragm so this is known as lightening so another thing which happens due to lightening is as the presenting part is in true pelvis so it exerts pressure on the urinary bladder due to which the capacity of urinary bladder decreases which leads to the increase frequency of voiding or increase urination or also micturition this is also known as a welcome sign as because the presenting part exerts the pressure due to which the capacity of the urinary bladder decreases which leads to increased micturition which is also known as the welcome sign so after lightening the another sign or the another feature is cervical changes in this there is a ripening of cervix means the cervix become soft the meaning of ripening is soft that is the cervix become soft and it becomes less than 1.5 cm in length and a finger admitted easily in the cervix as it becomes dilatable because it becomes soft so it is the another sign of pre labor that the labor or the onset of true labor pain is near so the third one is false labor pain these are actually dull in nature means they can be relieved with sedatives and enema and even with positioning life if the mother feels pain during sitting and if she stands the pain relieved so it does not cause dilatation of cervix and pain usually occurs at low abdomen and thighs there are another signs of pre labor which actually occurs days or hours before labor 
that is before the true labor or early labor which is also known as latent phase of first stage of labor so these signs usually occurs days or hours before the true labor pains start but sometimes in few cases these signs shown in the early labor when there when there are already the onset of true labor pains so this is known as latent phase of first stage of labor so these signs are first one is show next one is dilatation of internal os and next one is formation of bag of waters so first of all we will start with the show so what is show show is basically the cervical mucus plugs mixed with blood is known as show so how these cervical mucus plugs mixed with blood so here with the onset of labor there is a secretion that is profuse cervical secretions means there is a discharge of lots of cervical secretions the meaning of profuse is lots so when there is contractions it causes stretching of cervix and if the cervix stretch stretches the membranes separated from the decidua so what is decidua it is the inner lining of uterus which actually sheds after the birth of the baby this is basically the lining of the uterus during pregnancy which sheds after the baby born so the membrane separated from the decidua so there is a ruptured minute capillaries or minute blood vessels from which there is a oozing of blood means leaking of blood slowly which mixes with the cervical secretions which leads to show so mixing of cervical secretions with the blood oozing from the capillaries is known as show so the next sign is dilatation of internal os so what is internal os firstly so here i make the rough diagram this is a cervix so this part is known as internal os means the opening of cervix in uterus is known as internal os and the opening of cervix in vagina is known as external os so 
in this sign of pre labor there is only the dilatation of internal os the internal os is dilated much more than the external os so our next sign is formation of bags of water sorry bag of waters so here is a diagram of bag of water so as i earlier told when there is a contraction the membranes starts separating from the poorly formed decidua in the lower uterine segment so when the membranes starts separating then when there is a contraction these membranes start bulging out in the cervical canal membranes because the membranes become unsupported when they separated from the poorly formed decidua so membranes become unsupported when the contractions come these membranes bulging out in the cervical canal below the presenting part like here this is known as forewater that is the membranes containing the amniotic fluid which are present below the presenting part is known as forewater and the membranes containing the liquid amni or the amniotic fluid below the presenting part sorry behind the presenting part in the uterus is known as hind waters so this is known as formation of bags of waters which is actually form because of the detachment of membranes from the poorly formed decidua and then they become unsupported which leads to the bulging out of membranes in the cervical canal below the presenting part which is known as forewater and the membranes present in the uterus is known as hind waters so that's all about the pre labor i hope you all understand the video and if you want more updates then please like and subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day